In the class, real vector space is the same vector space. We will properties real vector space. In the complex vector space is the same as the properties. We will see the So, the theorem theorem. Let V be a vector space. So, V is a vector space. Vector U is a vector in V. K is a scalar. Then, scalar 0 times vector u is equal to vector 0. Scalar k times vector 0 is equal to vector 0. Minus 1 times vector u is equal to minus vector u. If k vector u equal to 0, then k equal to 0 or vector u is equal to 0. This is the result. 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 This the result. This is the result. Scalar 0 times vector u is equal to vector 0. If k equal to 0, if the scalar is 0, if we multiply any vector with the 0 scalar, you will get the zero vector. And that is the result. Scalar zero. Scalar zero. Scalar zero. Scalar zero. Scalar zero. Scalar Scalar zero. 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 the zero. Scalar zero. Scalar zero. Scalar k times 0 vector is equal to 0 vector. You multiply the 0 vector with any scalar, what you get is the 0 vector itself. Ethra valiya, alengi edh scalar kundu multiply jayithutum kaariliya, 0 vector will give always 0 vector. Adithal thamilu odu parayinudu, minus 1 times vector u is equal to minus vector u nana. Ivide minus vector u, means additive inverse of vector u okay additive inverse of vector u so if you multiply vector u with the scalar minus 1 you will get the additive inverse of vector u the next result says that k vector u equal to vector 0 then either the scalar k will be 0 or the vector vector u will be zero vector already aadithe rendu result galile nammalodu parayunnundu k zero aanengilum vector u zero aanengilum k vector u will be vector zero enna aadithe result aadithe rendu result galile nammalodu parayunnundu ipo ivide nammal parayunnathu adinte converse um true aanu oru scalar kondu nammal oru vector ine multiply cheyumbo kittunathu zero vector aanengil Onthigil that scalar should be 0 or the vector should be 0 vector. That is the result of this. This is the result of this result. The proof of this result is that we have a very fundamental and basic result. The basic result is that we have a step in the first step. We have a reason for this step. This reason is that the axioms are vector space. In the axioms are the axioms that we have to prove the result. Now, we have to prove the vector space in the axioms. We have to prove the result. Prove the result. Examples verify the vector space. We have to check the general idea of the result. So, to prove the first result, what we have is only the axioms of vector space. So, that is the result prove What we have to prove is 0 times vector u is equal to vector 0. So, 0 times vector u plus 0 times vector u can be written as 0 plus 0 times vector u. We have to the result is k vector u plus m vector u is equal to k plus m times vector u axiom 8 
Now, 0 plus 0 is nothing but 0. So, we can write this as 0 vector u. E 0 vector u in the number vector space is lower element. By axiom 5, any vector in the vector space have an additive inverse. So, 0 vector u has a negative minus 0 vector u. Now, we will see that 0 vector u plus 0 vector u is equal to 0 vector u. We will add uh, minus 0 vector u on both sides. LHS and RHS, we will add minus 0 vector u. Add so, we will see that 0 vector u plus 0 vector u plus minus 0 vector u is equal to 0 vector u plus minus 0 vector u. If we left hand side, we will apply the property apply the left hand side can be written as 0 vector u plus 0 vector u plus minus 0 vector u and this is equal to 0 vector u plus minus 0 vector u by associative property. Now, if we minus 0 vector u, in the we have 0 vector u in the negative element. In the so, this 0 vector u plus minus 0 vector u will give us um, the 0 vector. Adding these two, we will get the 0 vector. So, what we have is 0 vector u plus vector 0 is equal to vector 0. Okay. Now, 0 vector u plus vector 0 is 0 vector u itself by axiom 4 of uh, 4 in the definition of vector spaces. So, now we have 0 times vector u is equal to vector 0. This is the result. That is the second result. We have to prove that let k be any scalar, k times vector 0 is equal to vector 0. So, uh, k times vector 0 plus k times vector u can be written as k times vector 0 plus vector u by axiom 7. Axiom 7 is k times vector u plus k times vector v is equal to k times vector u plus vector v. Now, 0 plus vector u is vector u itself by axiom 4. So, we have k times vector 0 plus k vector u is equal to k vector u and this is true for every vector u element of v. So, we have to do this k vector u in the negative side. So, that I will get k vector 0 plus k vector u minus or plus minus k vector u is equal to k vector u plus minus k vector u. If I have minus k vector u, I k vector u in the negative vector. So, here we have, uh, in this side, we have 0. In the left hand side, we use the associative property. Use k vector 0 plus k vector u plus minus k vector u. Again, these two will give us the 0 vector. And k times vector 0 plus vector 0 is k times vector 0. So, we have k times vector 0 is equal to vector 0. This is the second result. Now, we have third result. Third result is the result we have proved. Minus 1 times vector u will give us the additive inverse of vector u. So, minus 1 times vector u, additive inverse of vector u, we have to prove that vector u plus minus 1 times vector u is equal to vector 0. So, we will prove that. So, vector u plus minus 1 times vector u is equal to 
1 times vector u plus minus 1 times vector u by axiom 10. Axiom 10 the mode bar another 1 scalar 1 times vector u is equal to vector u for all vector u in the vector space v nana. So we can write vector u as my 1 times vector u. Then distributive property axiom a to b oja namakadine. 1 plus minus 1 times vector u in the but 1 plus minus 1 is nothing but 0 by the property of numbers so we can write this as 0 times vector u and in the uh, part a of this theorem we proved that 0 times vector u is equal to vector 0 so now we have uh, vector u plus minus 1 vector u is equal to vector 0 and this implies minus 1 times vector u is equal to the additive inverse of vector u. Now the fourth property. I have already said that k o vector u o 0 we have k vector u uh, equal to 0 vector n area. That is the prove that k vector u equal to 0 is equal k alangil vector u 0. If k equal to 0, we will get the result. So we are assuming that k not equal to 0. k not equal to 0 is the only possibility is that vector u equal to 0 is equal to 0. So let k not equal to 0. Anyway, k is a real number. Complex number is equal to 0 k not equal to 0 angle, 1 by k in the way another real number on k real number on angle 1 by k real number on a that k complex number on an angle if k is a non-zero complex number 1 by k is a complex number apply in the corpalia anyway in this section number pro uh, assume j in the scalars alarm real numbers on another so anyway uh, if k not equal to 0 1 by k is a scalar so k vector u equal to vector 0 in the equation there and side ilum e 1 by k kundu nammal multiply cheyana so we will get 1 by k times k vector u is equal to 1 by k times vector 0 idile uh, we have a result k times m vector u is equal to km times vector u so left hand side ilum nammal ee property use cheyano then right hand side in the number of you in the property and the no issue in um, part uh, uh, we proved that any scalar times vector 0 is vector 0 if it is 1 by k in the way in the scalar on so 1 by sorry not this one uh, this 1 by k is a scalar so we can say that 1 by k times vector 0 is also vector 0 so what we get is 1 by k times k times vector u is equal to vector 0 and 1 by k times k is 1. So this is 1 vector u is equal to vector 0. But 1 vector u is nothing but vector u by axiom 10. So we have vector u is equal to vector 0. So whenever k not equal to 0, we have vector u is equal to uh, vector 0. So, one scale or one vector and we multiply the number of zero vector. The only possibility, possibility is that either the scalar is zero or the vector is zero. Now, we will note that in the last class, we have an unusual vector space. Consider the vector space V which is equal to set of all positive real numbers with vector addition and scalar multiplication defined by vector u plus vector v is equal to the product of numerical value of u and v and k times vector u scalar multiplication is equal to the numerical value of u to the power k this is a vector space that we already proved this is the part a Scalar 0 times vector u is equal to vector 0. So this implies scalar 0 times vector u is nothing but 
u power 0 by the definition. So, u power 0 is equal to vector 0. Vector 0 means additive identity. Additive identity of v. Additive identity of v. In the Ladinian, normally vector 0 on another. E vector space lay additive identity in the one on in the So, what we get is u power 0 is equal to 1. We will prove result. Now, we will prove result. Now, we will prove the result. Now, we will vector space in the properties. u power 0 is equal to 1. Now, we will prove the result. Now, we will cancellation law. We will prove the result. Vector addition is cancellation law. So, the law states that if vector u, vector v and vector w are elements of the vector space v, then vector u plus vector v is equal to vector u plus vector w implies vector v is equal to vector w. So, we will prove it. Vector u plus vector v is equal to vector u plus vector w on angle. This is the side of Additive inverse of u gonda add idalum namuk change on dava madilla. So minus u plus u plus v is equal to minus u plus u plus w. Now apply associative property. So minus u plus u plus v is equal to minus u plus u plus w by associative property that is axiom 3. Now, minus u plus u is nothing but 0 vector. So, write this on both sides. So, 0 vector plus vector v is equal to vector 0 plus vector w. But vector 0 plus vector v is nothing but vector v. Similarly, vector 0 plus vector w is nothing but vector w by axiom 4. So, we have whenever vector u plus vector v is equal to vector u plus vector w, Vector v is equal to vector w. So the cancellation law holds. Now we will see the results of the results. We will see the results of the results. We will see the results of the results. We will see the results of vectors, vector space elements. We will see the results of the results. We will see the results of the results. We will see the results of the results. We will see the results of the results.